Good morning, guys. Uh, I am M R Bair from Department of Mechanical Engineering, and today I am here to deliver an introductory lecture on technical drawing. You all people know that technical drawing is such a subject which becomes a sort of passport for the entrant person in the technical college. It is needed or rather it is a compulsory aspect of learning for all the students whichever branch they are belonging they have to study it they have to the complete knowledge of the subject as known with the technical drawing. As you know my dear friends without salt the food is tasteless. Without petrol, the motor car does not work. And without heart, the body do not work. The same way we can say that without technical drawing, the people cannot have the aspect of learning, aspect of taste, aspect of motivation and aspect of delivery. Therefore, the technical drawing is a phase of transformation from school days to the your technical college or a professional college days. How you have studied your drawing? Because you have entered in the technical college, therefore the version taken is the technical drawing, but before that you were at the school stage. In the school stage, perhaps you have not studied technical, rather you were not having any mind to enter in the technical college, but that time you have started your drawing as a study material. From KG, you started or rather learning in your school days and perhaps the drawing is the base which was taken for the learning in our school days and the basic knowledge of the alphabets was given through the study books provided by your papa at the time of your school days. The first day when the book was provided to you, rather you become very happy when you see the things that A for apple and B for bat. So this is what the way by which you learn the things. Teacher might have drawn the things on the uh, board and the shape was given on the board and you just coordinated in your memory what the meaning of this thing and what we see the things in our worldly space. So this is how the conduction of the knowledge was coordinated in our life through the media of drawing. So drawing is not a new phase of learning but it is a is it old phase of learning. Since childhood we started, so this is anybody's life the entry point, but later on when you entered in your college life, in your technical uh, college, professional college, of course the same phase of learning will be taken up with technology into consideration, but the phase of drawing phase of creation, phase of learning through drawing remains with the same concept which you carried at the time of your study days during your school days. Now I come on to the first introduction that is what the drawing is. As I have given you a very clear concept that drawing is nothing but it is a media of communication. I am sure through drawing you learn lot many things and that becomes the part of our communication. What you say you understand in the same way. So this is what the meaning of communication and it is a both way communication. The people understand the thing and you perceive the things accordingly what the persons are conveying the things to us. 
so it is the media of communication now the question comes is it a media created in the recent time or it is a age old my dear friends you all are the students coming from the school days now you might have seen that in school days you had studied something and what i mean of the something is that you might have studied your a subject known with the na name of social sciences in social sciences you might have studied the sindhu ghati sabhyata known with the name of mohenjodaro and harappa the presses which was made available the communication was carried in those old days where the, our civilization started through the drawing and technical drawing is of course a thing part taken up later on but the drawing is a part which was accepted during those days you might have seen your in your books the photographs given in your study books that of the traces of mohenjodaro and harappa you might have seen how the fire is being ignited striking of the two stones and the flare of your fire starts this is what the things was explained through the diagrams through the sketches through the figures and this way the understanding was rather transmitted with the help of the drawing from one person to the other person so this is how our way of communication was a is it old phenomena of the system with the help of drawing so drawing is a is it old persia of your perception of your communication now this is a way of communication which is known internationally it is a way that is being recognized worldly wide but that i will let you know later on but in the progress of your drawing you might have seen that after the civilization your mughal emperor comes you know the taj was created qutub minar was created now how the things was being carried out in creating all these things definitely my dear friends some concept of drawing was taken what bashad shah jahan conveyed in his rather uh, persons to provide a portrait of something which can be created in the memory of mam uh, mumtaz and no, lot many peoples provided the drawings of the rather you can say of the taj and he selected one and that portrait was crafted in the real monument and this was through the drawing and this is what you can recognize that how the drawing is translated for the creation of the monument and this monument is before you in agra and lot many people are coming to see and the same is you can say the recognized monument of the seven wonders of our world besides that you might have also seen the development has taken place after this arts format of our drawing it has come into the different format of drawing also that came in the format of your pictures pictures were being carried out after the development of the camera and pictures were provided rather for giving the acknowledgement of the sense of the existence of the product regarding its shape and material so this way through pictures through photographs this was being carried away and this was being taken as a task this way of communication even our social life is being taken up while for finalizing the marriages and all the things in the old days also the portraits of the rajkumaris and rajkumars were sent from kings to kings to finalize the marriages 
but now also in our today's days also very good portraits photographs are being carried out just to finalize the matrimonial solution so this is again a communication in the way of social relationship now this is all the concept i have given to you what you can recognize with the knowledge which you have already acquired at your school level but now i come back or rather come of the knowledge of the technical drawing that is useful for our study purpose for our learning purpose in our technical field of knowledge you all people know that maruti is created in japan and maruti established its plant in gurgaon and lot many plants has been created it's not a, only the example of maruti but just for example i am creating or rather giving you the masses that maruti is being created here how can you give me the reply the how the things are created which was originally created in japan and rather with the ditto production the things are really created in our country not in our country and any part of the world how the same resembling things can be carried out this miracle can only be concluded through the communication with the help of technical drawing the people used to carry the drawing only a piece of paper and the different different parts are crafted drafted on the piece of paper and the knowledge of the technical persons the facilities provided with the system used to make the things accordingly that is being shown in our drawings now manufacturing drawing is of course a different aspect of our technical drawing but basically we can rather first in our introduction understand what is the meaning of technical drawing so technical drawing is again a way of communication the thing from one person to the other person from one place to the other place from one nation to the other nation so this is how our technical drawing is known as a international language of communication now my dear friends can you tell me which language other than technical drawing you call to be international you might say english is a international language because your conceived mind might have acting like that to give me answer to give me reply of the question which i posed before you but do you think the person nearby village knows or rather can understand or can speak english so therefore this is excluded that english international language so my dear friends our technical drawing is the international language wherever it is understood in the same way wherever it is being rather created in the same way that's why this language is said to be a international language can you tell me any language besides this is said to be the international language i'm sure you people whatever reply you are giving to me are not proper and i will put you in the right direction and give you the right reply that is your music composition is the second language of communication which is internationally accepted you might have heard that when raj kapoor visited russia the same composition which was created in his film mera juta hai japani that was being created at the russia in honor of the rajkumar in the same manner that means our music is a second language which is internationally accepted way of symbols and the same way 
the things are being created before the people in the same way of communication in the same way of your learning and listening of the things so in the word you can say basically of course these are the two well known languages which are accepted internationally one is your technical drawing and another is your musical symbols that are being composed or that are being used for the composition of the music now after that when we say that it is a way of communication and it is a part of the language which is being understood in the same manner throughout the world one thing might have come in your mind and what thing has come in your mind can you tell me perhaps none of you are in a position to answer the things it is a very basic thing that when you started your learning you started your learning with the basic alphabets so for any language the alphabets are the most necessary things when i say my technical drawing is a way of communication is a international language then definitely this language also has the alphabets so can you tell me what are the alphabets which are being carried with this language in english you say that 26 alphabets are there very well you all can say that 26 alphabets are there in the english language and complete your composition of any of the novel is carried with the different different wordics framed with the help of these alphabets hindi also has got lot many alphabets but can you tell me any one of you what are the number of alphabets that are being used in our hindi lipi in our hindi script yes gentlemen you tell me you second guy please tell me none of you can tell me how many scripts are there in our hindi language really it is very sorrowful and shameful english ki aap sab jante hain hindi ke bare mein koi kuch nahi pehchanta kuch nahi janta so now have the knowledge how many alphabets our technical drawing is having now before going for the second phase of my discussions after introduction i have to convey you the philosophy of your technical drawing that is the methodology technical drawing now this methodology is very much related on the basic fact uh i ask you one question that suppose i am carrying this book with me i am sure you can see this book in my hand but suppose if i switch off the light will you able to see the book with your eyes perhaps no you all say like that that means for the reason of anything light is necessary without light we cannot see the things we cannot rather have the acknowledgement of the shape and dimensions of any of the thing which is existing in the world and without knowing the shape and dimension we cannot create so our communication is rather uh you can say paralyzed in the absence of light the same way if we do not have the tongue our communication will be paralyzed will not be able to convey the ideas through saying something to the person so definitely for our technical drawing naturally light is necessary so light becomes a fundamental aspect of learning 
of creation of the technical drawing. Now, basically you all people has come from the schools. Can you tell me the basic properties of the light which you know about? Any one of you? None of you people are able to say the basic properties of the light? Anyway, I bring you back to your school days. Perhaps your teacher might have conveyed you that light travels in a straight line. You all agree? You all heard of it? Your teacher might have conveyed you the same thing which I am conveying you today morning. That means the light is traveling in a straight line. And secondly, all rays are parallel to each other. These are the two basic facts, these are the two basic principles of light that are being used in understanding, in communicating our basic language. Now, there are two systems of light, one is the convergent system and another is the parallel system. So, I first take the parallel system that how it has created and it is worldly accepted creation for the understanding and for the formation of the products which are being created in our universe. Now, in with the principle focusing these basic principles of light, I would like to make you something before you regarding the shape of the things which are being created with the help of the light and with the parallel mo uh, movement of the rays of the light. Now, I come on to the basic concept of our language by which we can understand and we can create the things accordingly with the way of the same understanding. So, we take on to the basic understanding of orthographic projection. Now, the word composed of the two your words contained in the dictionary orthographic and another is the projection. Now, what is the meaning of orthographic and what is the meaning of projection? Orthographic means anything which is perpendicular to something. This is what conveys the message of orthogonality. Projection is the system of light, how it is carried to view the things which are under consideration. Suppose, the book is with, with you and it is kept like this. Now, when you see, you are the viewer, you are the person who are observing this object. The rays of light going from or passing through your eyes are falling on the book on this front of the book which illuminates the total page or rather the cover here and when they are impinging perpendicular naturally some of the rays will pass through the top of the surface, some of the rays will side by pass away from the rays and this way you can see that only a single system is under illumination which carries only the front of this section which is shown to you here. So, if I create this naturally according to the dimensions, it will be of the two dimensions which are carrying a shape like this and which carries the height like this and which carries the width like this. That means, this shape is being visualized when the rays of light 
are falling on this particular piece of base from the front. Okay. Now, from the front, I can conceive only two dimensions that is height and the width. So, this is created view is known as the front view. Similarly, if I see the things from the top, the rays of light will be impinging on the surface from the top and definitely some of the rays will be obstructed and other will pass away. So, they will create a basic surface here on our <coughs> conceptual mind and that can be seen creating a thing like this which carries the width and that carries la rather the length. Now, if I take the things again from the side, it will have the height and it will have the length. So, the third thing that will be created will be like this that carries the height and carries the length. Now, in these three visions, you can very well see that H has been reputed at two times, W has been repeated also at two times and L has also been repeated two times. Now, why this concept was being taken into existence? Why this rather system is more useful to us? Now, in the universe, all the things which are existing are three dimensional things. And if we shape the three dimensional objects on a piece of paper, definitely rather complexity of the object may create confusion in understanding. We have got the limitation of drawing on the two dimensional surface which carries the length and the width rather thickness is very negligible. So, we want to accommodate our views rather projections only on the two dimensional surface. Therefore, two dimensions are taken in relation here that means, the repetition of all the dimensions are taking place twice in our system. Now, here you can say, since the projectors are perpendicular, so whatever height is visible when you view the things from front, the same height will be visible to you when you see the things from the side. So, I call this to be the side view and the same width that is visible to me in my front view, the same will be visible to me in my top view. That means, when the things are viewed with orthographic idea perpendicular rays falling on the surface of vision naturally, the length, width and height will not be get rather deflected or not be get rather variation. So, this basic concept <coughs> was taken for the creation of the things. <coughs> now, one basic more thing I want to convey you here rather I want to focus here is that this is not the systematic arrangement of the things. Is it only the way of conveying the things in a haphazard manner? When we see that it is a system of projectors, naturally the projections must be systematized in a proper way. 
you can very well see in your life when you see a tree from the front the shape of the tree is different and complete scatter when you see the thing will be rather visible to you in this format giving you the width and the height when you see the things from the top perhaps the view will be not be the same view will be the different one and what the view will be that is vision from the top will be the shading of the shape like this way so this is how the vision gets changed when we change our focus of the vision if you see the things from the front the shape will be different if you see the thing from the top the things will be different and if you see the things from the side the things will be all together different so now this is how our technical drawing can be crafted into a understandable idea of learning idea of creation idea of communication through these through basic things now one basic thing which I, more i want to introduce here here that means the things has been shown here with the dark lines now these lines are said to be the main lines so main lines what main lines are main lines are nothing but it is the deflection of the things rather or segmentation of the thing or bifurcation of the things light stop and the light passed that means it is a peripheral line of observation below that the line the light is being stopped and above it the light get passes away so this is the line of departmentation or line of rather obsolete difference creating passes of the light and this why this is called the main line and the boundary of the main line creates the or give the concept of the shape and creates the size of the object now the things which was rather created before you was keeping the object in this way suppose i keep the object in this way naturally the things will be shown accordingly as this is the front view and this will be the top view and this will be the side view now shapes are the same sizes are the same but you can see the orientation has changed that means to say it depends upon how you are putting your object and according to the position of the object your orientation of the front view top view and the side view get changes and accordingly the size is also being designated with the changed format now we come on to the next phase of our understanding that is how the things are being rather arranged in a proper way to understand systematically of the things which are being created here in the format of the front view in the format of the top view and in the format of the side view now since the things when being said front view top view and the side view rather it creates a confusion when the same thing is repeated when the view is repeated again and again so in our conceptual presentation of the views the front view is said to be the elevation the thing which is elevated before you the thing before you 
firstly seen is said to be the elevation and top view is said to be the plan. So now further in our communication that front view will be designated as the elevation and the top view will be designated as the plan whereas the side view is designated as the side view or as the end view. Now I come on to the rather formation of the things, how the things are being arranged and how the things are related to each other. If I arrange the three words A and D naturally it will give a word and to my sense of knowledge. Similarly, the sense of knowledge is to be crafted, is to be arranged in a proper way so that the understanding can be universal in the same way and in the same format. So now this elevation, plan and side view are the three basic things which are important for the creation or for the showing the shape and size of a given object. I am sure now you are in a position to answer my question, what are the alphabets of this language? Yes, my friend, can you tell me what are the alphabets now to represent, to convey, to communicate the things in a proper manner, in a proper way of understanding, in a real way of communication. Yes, you are right. There are the three alphabets, the technical drawing or the orthographic projection, the part of the technical drawing has got the three alphabets and they are known with the name of elevation, plan and side view. So basically, this is a language, this is a communication way which is being used here to communicate the things only with the three alphabets and you can say this is a language carrying only three alphabets. So how easy to understand and how easy to carry a language having got only the three alphabets, the minimum alphabets in the world which is existing to represent, to form a language. Now I create the three things again taking the use of our projectors. Suppose I am keeping the object in this way. My front view is definitely looking rather as a white, uh, sorry this green piece of color, this cover and it can be crafted on the drawing board very well. If I am keeping it like this, this will be the shape of the object and I call it to be the elevation and I designate it with only. Now projectors are the straight lines moving in any of the direction for creating the other shape. So I just draw the projectors on side and on the top and projectors are always drawn thinner than the main line. Their illumination rather intensity of the projectors is lighter than the main line and their intensity is also less than what of the main line. Now around the elevation I can create the side view, the side view can be at the left also carrying the next third dimension that is my width and height. This can be on any of the either of the side carrying the things your height and the width. Similarly, I can have my third vision of the view here 
that is carrying the length and the width at the top and the same thing will be visible if I see it from the bottom. So, now you can see here the things are arranged accordingly around the elevation. Now, the question comes why we framed the things like this? Why we have given importance to the elevation? Why we have made out the arrangement with respect to my elevation? Why not a primary factor is given to the plan or the side view? Why the importance is given to the elevation? Very well. The elevation is the first thing which come to our vision when some object or some object is brought before us. Just to highlight this idea, just to highlight this understanding, just to highlight the basic viewpoint which is underlying in this factor of elevation that why the elevation is given importance. I would like to convey you a very short story that is picked up from Mahabharata. You are all aware of the Mahabharata, you all are aware of our Gita and Mahabharata. In Mahabharata, a very small story is there that when the war was just to take place, Yudhishthir conveyed to his brother, younger brother Arjun to get the favor of different different kings, they can fight the war in favor of them and in this area they decided that we should also approach to Lord Krishna. So, Yudhishthir sent his younger brother Arjuna to see Lord Krishna so that we can get favor of Lord Krishna in this Mahabharata war. The somehow the things what come to the knowledge of Duryodhana, then the Duryodhana also decided to approach Lord Krishna to get the favor. Definitely uh, Arjuna reached first and when we asked it was being conveyed that Lord is in sleeping condition. Bhagwan so rahe hai. So, he posed himself at the foot of the God, God ke Bhagwan ke paon ki taraf aake aur wo baith ke. When Duryodhan came, he also rather approach to the God, wo bhi saman kaksh mein aaye aur unke sar ki taraf baith ke. Jab neen uri, when the God get awakened, the first person whom they, he saw was Arjuna. So, he asked, why you have come here? Can you tell me the purpose of your coming? You have graced the today's morning you witnessed me today. So, Duryodhan also said, I am also here sir. Then Lord Krishna said, both of you have come here. So, can you tell me the purpose? Of course. So, he asked Arjuna that first I have seen you. So, you tell me the purpose of your coming. Duryodhan thought that if everything which I want or rather I desire in my mind will be taken by Arjuna and I will be rather returned back with the empty head. So, Duryodhan said, Lord I am elder to Arjun, so this priority should be given to me. First, your commitment should be fulfilled before me and only then you can go for the other. 
the lord says okay i have got the two things with me meri sena or myself so whatever you want duryodhan you first ask you first tell me duryodhan said okay you give me your army your rather sena will be fighting in my favor so definitely the another person left was lord archa sorry lord krishna so lord krishna said okay i am in favor of because only left man is myself so i will be with arjun duryodhan again rather put a tact here and he put a compulsion on the lord ka okay you will be in favor of arjun lekin yuddh mein aap kahin pe bhi hathiyar nahi uthaoge you will not make use of any of the weapon during the war when you are fighting this complete commitment in the story that you can observe is by virtue of the first visor that is the elevation that is lord krishna has seen first arjuna and that's why he was given but anyhow with the age the different man was given the priority but in elevation there is a great power whatever things comes to before you aapka dost bhi aapke samne aayega to sabse pehle kya dikhega aapka dost ka elevation aapko nazar aayega not the other view so elevation has got the priority and that's why the arrangement is around this elevation that means to say around the elevation there are plan and there are side view now as i earlier said before concluding my today's lecture i would like to say that i will confirm to my object my version my saying before i have conveyed you that there are only three alphabets existing in the way of this language in our communication so here i have drawn the five figures is it not contradicting my idea definitely not only three will be taken two are just positioned repeatedly here at the top and bottom at the side of the left and right but only three will be taken here in consideration so how this formatting is taking place taking elevation as the given top position to our way of arrangement besides this i will again bring rather your ideas which you have framed during your school days you might have seen or you might have rather come across the idea of the eclipse you might have heard during your uh, student life at the school days that moon and earth is orbiting around the sun so sun is the pivotal rather your and moon and earth are the orbiting rather uh, things around the sun so priority is always given to the sun and sun planet is the basic purposeful elevated your planet and around it the position of the side view and the plan takes place so this arrangement will be accordingly followed with the system that we have understood during our school days that is how the planets are being arranged with respect to the sun planet and the other planets are the moon and the earth so this way we can categorize that elevation is my sun planet and other moon and earth can be designated with the plan and the side